Good morning, Borada. How are you this morning? It's good to be with you. Something that we've done for the last couple of years, Will and I, is uh, be part of a very small Lent group that we do in addition to anything else that's going on with some friends, two other couples. And uh, we make a chat group and we choose a book and uh, we uh, come together at some point every day just via text messaging really in this chat group to reflect upon the, the daily uh, part of the Lent course that we ch we've chosen. And something that came to light last week is something that I know about myself and it's a bit of a confession um, and it, yeah but you know hey we're all human aren't we and that is that um, I find it very easy to do things or to try to do things in my own strength and not in the strength of God. And of course, that's when it all goes horribly wrong, because if I try and do everything in my own strength, I wouldn't get it all done. Um, I would be burnt out, worn out and, and probably very, very stressed. And it is incredibly important to remind myself to always do things in God's strength, not in my own. And this kind of cropped up a little bit at the end of last week and yeah, it's something to just keep checking in on all the time. I'm not the only one, am I? No. How good are you at doing thing in, things in God's strength and handing things over to him? And how much of it do you try to do in your own strength? And on from that, because we try to do things in our own strength, how much of our day is spent trying to push things where we want them to go? instead of listening to where God wants them to go. Hmm, yes. Well, it's a, a tough one for a Monday morning, isn't it? So I've got this amazing book that I, would, I want to show you. It's called Pray Anyway. And Devotions for the Ambivalent, isn't that a great title? I pray anyway. And it's got some wonderful little prayers and verses in here. And uh, they, they just, they speak to me. So, listen to this one. Here's the impossible part. To say your will, whoever, whatever. I want my will. And to fake surrender while having it my way doesn't work that way. I know, life is one big surrender. And that's kind of it in a nutshell, isn't it? We say your will. We say it in the Lord's Prayer. Every time we say the Lord's Prayer, we say, thy will be done. And then we get up from our chairs and we go and do things our way because we want our will. I want my will. But we pretend that we've handed it over to God. So my challenge to myself today is to make a really conscious decision at every juncture to hand the day over to God and let his will be done, not mine. Mm, that's going to be a toughie. Not least because when we get busy is when we forget to do these things, isn't it? And I don't think that's bad. I think it's just human nature that we tend to kind of get on with it ourselves and then quickly check in and think, ooh, should we be doing this in God's strength? Should Is this God's will? So that's my challenge to myself today. Are you going to join me on this? It would be good, wouldn't it? I think one of the ways we can start as we mean to go on is perhaps we'll pray the Lord's Prayer together and really hear those words, thy will be done. Your will, God, not mine today. And we'll see if the day turns out any better, any different. Let's see where God is willing to take us today. So let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Please tell me I'm not alone in this. I know I'm supposed to set the example, but actually the example I'm setting is that we're all human. And today I'm going to work hard at this. I work hard at it every day, but it just was one of those things that popped up brilliantly and I had to share it. I hope you have a really good day today. Keep in touch. Let me know how your will is and uh, I shall see you soon or speak to you soon. Lots of love and God bless. Bye bye. <laughs>